The book of Esther, chapter 4, is a pivotal moment in the book of Esther, and in the life of Esther, and in the life of the nation of Israel. Many of us are familiar with these events and the decisions that Esther has to make, but it is always beneficial to re-examine these passages. Two key statements. The first, Mordecai says to Esther in verse 14c, Who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? After deciding to make the decision, Esther states, And so I will go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. The first statement is bold. It's a profound sensitivity to God's call on her life and the moment that she was in. The second statement is a bold statement of surrender. While there is no mention of God in the book of Esther, the children of Israel are aware of the word of God and aware of their significance on the face of the earth. Mordecai understands God will preserve his nation in the line of the Messiah as a devout Jew. And Esther, having been raised by Mordecai, would have understood this as well. These events should bring us as believers to contemplation and the realization of Christ's promise in our life and his protection and his preservation. Do we, do we truly understand this to the point of being sensitive to a moment where God has chosen us to be his instrument for change, for renewal, for preservation? Would we, based on our knowledge of Christ and our walk with him, be willing to surrender to the point of losing it all? Is anything too hard for God? But the real question is, and that Saul had to answer in his life, was this, is there anything more important to me than God? Esther's answer was clear, no. God is more important to me than hiding in the luxury of the king's palace.